Hi, you're welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth. So, prayer is not an option. This is how champions survive. We survive because we stay there. See, when you start praying, before Satan notices that a prince is about to rise, your flesh will fight you first. Because you are built, the system around you is designed to keep you a victim. So when you want to pray, it's battle. You will first of all conquer flesh. When you conquer flesh, then the princes in darkness will begin to see your reign. That's when what is locked up in your bowels will start coming. Because if you are a child of light, it means there are rays that come from you. When we talk, there are rays. Let me tell you, see, there are different rays. So for those of you who are scientists, you know, there is gamma ray, there is beta ray, there is alpha ray. Some rays are X-rays. Those ones come to cut cancer. There are rays. See, you may not see it with your physical eye. It doesn't mean it's not there. It's not every light you see. It's a frequency thing. So when you start praying, what you are doing is you are transiting from one ray to another. Prayer energizes you. For those of you who understand a bit of chemistry, there's what we call excitation. When an atom absorbs energy, it leaps from a lower energy level to a higher energy level and it keeps going. So somebody can begin from a normal ray and begin to go into deeper rays. Deeper rays. A point come when you become X-ray. Even sickness knows that it can be there because X-ray will terminate cancer. And as you keep ascending, a point will come, you become a danger to darkness. Can we pray in the spirit? Can we say in the spirit? Brothers, you carry life. Sisters, you carry life. Don't allow the devil to make a mess of you. The Bible spoke about Jesus. He said he was there for 30 years. Nobody cared. But when he went to the wilderness, he prayed and fasted. And when he returned, he said, The land of Zebulun, the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people that sat in darkness. They have seen a great light. He said, Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. For thy light is come. He spoke about John. He said he was a burning and a shining light. If you don't burn, you can't shine. If you don't burn, you can't shine. The light might be there, but only those who burn can shine. Can we pray in the spirit? Rakapatia <laughs> Ora batete for rusto. Born so that you can shine. Born so that you can shine. If there is no flame, there will be no illumination. Aseke teke pere. Aragatia zada da pa. Zada da pa. Zada da pa. Peperate baba patuas. Siata urua tete. Eke teke tua rakapatuas. on your inside. Favor is there. Wisdom is there. Inspiration is there. Influence is there. Healing is there. How come it has been locked up? Chambers must open up. Is say out of their bellies shall flow rivers of living water. Sapaparuta. Rotinate, 
Rakete de Tuata, a Rute de Vevane, a Sosia, Rakatuata, a Lila, Papa, Rakatuna, Sakasaziza, a Zoa, Reke Papa Papa Dua, Rakete de Patacoa, Satela, Awa, Tete, Kepe, Jede de 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 Kaus, Rakiba, Papara, Rakatana, Sonsaveta, a la Lute, Tapari, Yandari, Sika, Awa, Shara, Papa Bos. you if you want to help yourself pray the Bible said he has given unto us all things that pertains to life and godliness second Peter 1 verse 3 but there is a knowledge that sponsors it you don't read it you find it he said he said find it find it you search it, you find it. And one of the ways to search is by prayer. See, all this laying on of hands in partition is a jump starting technique. You know, when a battery dies, you use a jump starting cord to jump start. That's, the, that's what in partition is. Oh. The real system is prayer. If you want to ascend, that's why I say, you dearly beloved. He said, building up yourself. If you want to stand like Mount Zion that cannot be moved, I'm telling you, impartation can't take you far. I honor impartations have been imparted. I wish I have time to tell you people who have imparted me. But he said, building up yourself upon your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You don't know what is inside you. If you see it, you'll be afraid of yourself. He said, you were carefully and wonderfully made some of us who are here sick we are a fountain of healing a fountain all our bones carry healing power but it's locked some of us seeking direction here we are a river of inspiration some of us seeking people to help us here we are an overflow of favor but they are locked up because you have not been stretched see crack yourself let those chambers open let those rivers flow. You are not ordinary. God sits on your inside. Every grace you are looking for sits on your inside. Jesus, 
See, for a Christian, there's no such thing as hopelessness. See, it's possible to be in a place where there's no man to help you. If God gives you men, that's a blessing. I appreciate it. But even if there's nobody, you are not hopeless. Did you read about Esther? A king had passed a law that Israel should be wiped off. They needed somebody that had favor to talk to the king. Esther knew she didn't have those ranks. Because if you step in when you are not authorized, you'll be killed. Is the law of the Medes and the patients that utter it not. But she knew something. He said, pray for me. Take three days of prayer. If there's nobody to talk to the king on your behalf, show up. But when you come, make sure you are clothed with favor. Pray for me. She knew that three days prayer and fasting could excavate enough favor to break protocols. Did you read about Jehoshaphat? Three nations camped up against him. Ammon, Moab, Mount Seir. There was no military strategy. There was no book to read. The strongest army camped up against him. They literally wanted to shut him down. The Bible said they took a fast. And as they were praying, inspiration came. See, inspiration can well up. Favor can well up. Influence can well up. The problem is that you are not staring what is inside you. When the Bible summarizes our riches, it says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Everything that glorifies is already on your inside. But how much of it can come out? This is why you let it shine. Can we let it for one minute? Can we let it for one minute? Can we let it for one minute? Oh! The psalmist said many a day that have risen up against me. They said there is no hope for me. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory, you are the lifter up of my head. There is a hope if we were sat on the altar. So battle, papa, le coria, papa, papa, rocata, manush, se hi, para, coata, se que, se que, se que, se que, o papa, paro, da papa, pina, papa, a le le de, 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 Hello, Barabu, Baba Pula, Elele Piata, Baba Bakaya, Baba Boba Baraguate, Ezobraco, Atua, Tuatana, Atata Zazina, Baba Radoa, Rakapabonda, Baba Ba, Rekida Baragadoas, Manteke Peredoa, Shaba, Kadola, Bela, Barusta, Isa Sazai. Cabra, Combate, Levedus. Who says that business will not prosper? Who says that ministry will not flourish? Who says your life will, will be cut off? He said, he said, gather together, you will scatter. Take counsel together, you shall come to know. Our God is in our midst. He said, thou shalt decree a thing. It shall be established unto you. So we cancel what they say, and we decree what shall happen. All of that is a system. God preached to. When you pray, you cancel laws and you write laws. Avere baria parakaduna. Sehele Paris, Cantana, Baragata. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. See, this is how the fathers did it. Too. And if we will survive the, the beasts of our generation, this is the only way. They are ancient landmarks. You can't remove them. You can't remove prayer. You can't remove integrity. You, you can't. You can't remove virtue. They are ancient landmarks. It's the way of the patriarchs. What you heard tonight, practice it. 
See what happens to you in six months. You see people rise up. Hey, Christianity is a scam. Church used us. They are fake Christians. They are the first fake people. Because they never engage what the word said. If you engage the word, nobody can use you. Nobody can curse you. Nobody can destroy you. Even the seasons you lost, you can restore them and redeem them on the altar. What are we talking about? The things we are doing here, in all humility, I caught them in the spirit. See, that's why they must walk. I was praying on a 21 days fast. My eyes opened. I saw beasts like crocodiles. But they were walking on two, two feet. Had clubs and were fighting. And I stood on a cliff. Something threw me, threw me to the battlefield. As I entered, I saw myself with weapon and started fighting. I knew I was a warrior from the spirit realm. I wasn't told. So when I'm talking and princes are disarmed, I know, I saw it. And while I was fighting, one of the elders came and said, come. That was when I knew that this thing has rank. And the man reassigned me. He said, the people that have been taken to safety, he said, direct them. That's why people like us never fight elders. I know this thing has rank. I saw it in the spirit. And as I was doing it, when the people are saved on their own, they will give me gold. They will give me dollars. They will give me pounds. I, I discovered there was different chambers in warfare. Thank you. I kept collecting. I kept, that's why what we are doing here, we can't lack. We don't preach money. Nobody tells you give or you will go to hell. Nobody has that time. We caught it. We caught it by prayer. I was praying on the other time. A light came out of the wall, passed through me. I thought it was for 15 seconds. When I checked, it was six hours. Even if I don't read, I know what to say. I've entered, I've been initiated into inspiration in the heavens. It's light. You don't know what is on the altar. People hear you, they think it's what you are reading. Go and read it. Studying is important, but there are things that are committed. The oracles of God. It's in the spirit. And that's what I need for my ordination. You are a businessman. You need influence. You need favor. You think it's just by strolling with suit and tie. You are joking. You are going for meetings with people that are chewing stick. That is brought from Sahara. It was put in Sahara Desert. Buried in the Indian Ocean. And they chew to come and talk. When they talk, demons move. You show up, you say you studied in Harvard. No wonder you have the best presentation. Nobody remembers what you say. Because you need something to be coded into what you are saying. I prophesy over you. Your light will gush forth. Your light will break like the fountains of the morning. Your life will break forth like the rivers of living waters. I pray over you every potential that is in your spirit. In this season, they begin to manifest. inside us our job is to excavate it I laid on the altar praying with one of the intercessors that taught us prayer and suddenly I saw flags of nations they were passing they were passing they were passing and somebody showed up and gave me a perfume and the moment I saw that perfume the nations were opening and I looked at the guy they gave him a perfume his own perfume had a sword and I told him sir I just saw a vision of, they gave you a perfume, had a sword. That same week, the apostle showed up and said he saw him in the spirit. He had a red sword that was long, like the length of the auditorium. If that man makes a decree in prayer, go and sleep. And me, I was teaching as a HOD, chemistry. No invitation anywhere. They invited me from the classroom. Come to Elori. Come to Yola. The next thing, go to Ghana, go to Zambia, 
go to England, go to Dubai. You think it's Facebook that gives invitation? Lift your hands toward heaven. I decree over you, everything that was written concerning you, in your lifetime you will manifest it. Everything that was ordained concerning you, in your lifetime you will manifest it. And every power that has blocked your soul from releasing the virtues of God, I decree and declare by the authority of my priesthood, in the name of Jesus, they are scattered now. Thank you, Father. You were here on Sunday. We just graduated people. 59 nations graduated. How many weeks did we do the publicity? One week. People registered from 62 nations. It's because of the rigidity of the school that some couldn't graduate. 59 nations. One week notification. Is that strategy? I'm not against strategy, but there are powers. There are powers. Now, this is our level of intensity. A pastor Chris can announce meeting. He announced meeting once for pastor's meeting. Two million pastors applied from more than 140 nations. Two million pastors. I'm not saying believers. Pastors, two million. It's intensity. That's why you don't stop. You keep burning. Because to shine, you must burn. Two million pastors. How is that possible? It's intensity. The other time, we were going for a cell leaders conference. I think that was in 2012 or something. People came from 95 nations. On their own, they were chattering flights to come. That was what gave some of us exposure. You sit down, a German is sitting by you. A Philippine, a Filipino person is sitting by you. A Russian, it was normal. Because a man was born and he has not gone to more than 10, 15 nations. You don't need to be everywhere, born. The nations will look for you. Born! I prophesy over you. This is the day of your turnaround. For you it shall be from glory to glory. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Anywhere you are planted, flourish in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Take time, listen to the message again. Let God fire wars into your spirit. I didn't follow the message on time because the worship, I was held up. When I realized he had gone far, so I couldn't even write. But take time. Remember, there are descriptive scriptures. They tell you how David fought Goliath. But in those scriptures, there are prescriptive scriptures that show you what they did to overcome. And then there are didactic scriptures. When you are studying, find these three things. Know the description, apply the prescription, and obey the instructions. That's what this message has come to do for us tonight. And I decree over you, you shall walk in the reality. Give the Lord a big hand. Thank you so much for engaging this video to the end. Please, before you leave, give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. One more thing, share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.